Hello and welcome to the channel, or welcome back if you are so inclined. In today's video, we're taking a look at this. It's the VX2 Aimbox from GameSir. Now this cool little thing will let you use keyboard and mouse on console games that don't natively support it, so that's pretty cool. Let's check it out. So what do we get in the box of this cool little device? Well, we'll start with the boring paperworky stuff. We get some paperwork that's wasteful. We do get a QC pass that's shaped like a plectrum made of paper. That's that's epic, great sign. We also get this, the GameSir sticker. Then we get the user manual, which for at least one occasion will come in quite handy, if for nothing else, just for how to set this up. And it also has a QR code where you can download an app for the device itself so you can change key bindings, but I'll get more onto that down the way. Then we get these two little cables. We get a Type-C to Type-A and a Micro-B to Type-A sort of utility cables, but they are braided and rather nice. They are rather nice, quite impressed with that. And then we get the Aimbox itself. Now this is kind of a cool little device. It's only very, very small. It does have rubber feet on the bottom, so it doesn't move around on your desk as you'd think that it would. This also has a connector that's fully connected into the back of the device itself, and it's just a, a Type-A USB connector, but again, it's braided and looks very, very pretty. Now, this thing is kind of cool. I do like it. I do. It feels very robust. It's very plasticky. But something I do want to point out that I only noticed when I first opened the box is the Type-A USB connectors are double-edged. You can literally go in either way. So if I plug, we'll just use this one, this Type-A connector in like so, I can unplug it, twist it around, and just plug it in again, which is a feature that should be on everything, everything that can actually take this size should ultimately have it. But there we are. There's not a great deal that comes with it. You just pretty much get the device and some paperwork. All very cool. Let's move on. So how does it all come together and how does it all work? Well, honestly, it's really rather simple. As you can see, I've got my PS5 connected to a monitor. Now into the front USB connector of the PS5, I have the VX2 aimbox connected. And into the center connector of that, I have this officially licensed wired PS4 controller. Now, into the right hand side, it doesn't make a difference which side you're going. I do have my keyboard connected here and the mouse connected here. And as you can see, I've already loaded into Warzone just so we can prove a point on this. Now, if I hit the tab key, that should open up some options. And if I scroll down far enough, you will see, well, I'm already on it, aim assist options. Now I'm a PC gamer and I play Warzone on PC and I use mouse and keyboard. And I can tell you this doesn't, doesn't feel right that this is on there, however, if you do have access issues and you struggle with a controller, then maybe this is actually quite good for you. I have actually tried this. I'm not going to show a clip of it, but honestly, as someone who's used the mouse all these years, having that slow down when you're trying to aim can sort of put me off a little bit. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for Warzone unless you do have access issues. Now there is a whole host of games that are supported by the VX2 aimbox. Now I'll put the list up on the screen. Now I got this direct from GameSir's website, so you can just go on there and peruse yourself. But honestly, I'm quite impressed with this. With games like Civilization VI, all very good. The fact that you can't use keyboard and mouse on the PlayStation with that, with me being a PC gamer, I'm very much used to the keyboard and mouse. So having that option when on the PS5 is all very, very good. Now I'm sure some of you will say that you can already use keyboard and mouse on the PS5 with Warzone, and you absolutely can. This demonstration was just to show that it does in fact think that you're using a controller, and that's how this device works. It basically hijacks the controller signals and send that to the PlayStation. As I said, I wouldn't go out of, I wouldn't use this on Warzone just to try and get around the aim assist issue when you're using keyboard and mouse because it's not really a massive help. It just slows down the mouse cursor as you get near the enemy, which if you're like me and you've used mouse for a long time, I don't like it. It didn't really work well with me, but there were other games that this was just absolutely fantastic on. But there we are, all very simple to set up and what it does is all very easy. Now, as I mentioned, there is a companion app to this, the GameSir app. Now, once you're in there, you get this on the screen. You just connect it to the device via Bluetooth. It's all nice and easy. Then you can skip through any of the games that you'd like. And once you get into there, you can choose your own setup. You can just check what the presets are to see the key bindings, or you can change your own key bindings and mouse sensitivity and all that good stuff. It's all very easy to use and simple to set up. All nice and easy. Very good. So what is the VX2 actually compatible with? Well, as you saw, it's compatible with the PlayStation 5. It's also compatible with the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, the Xbox Series X, and the Series S. It's also compatible with the Switch. It says here at the bottom, multi-platform compatibility, and it really genuinely is. Now, it doesn't work on every single game, but it does work on the vast majority of. And like I showed with the app, you can go in and set your own key bindings for games should you choose to. Now, would I recommend this? Honestly, 
If you've already got a PC where you use keyboard and mouse and you have a console and you want to use keyboard and mouse on it, then it's down to you. What do you think? If you, that's what you really want to do, then go for it. Certain games, it's more of a help than others. As we showed with Warzone, that is already um, supportive of keyboard and mouse through a, a console itself. But then games like Returnal that are not, this is a genuinely massive, impactful way to go. If you have access issues that sort of preclude you from using a control pad, if you have difficulties with your hands and using a keyboard and mouse might make it easier, then absolutely. This thing retails for around 50 quid or $50 US. Now, that's a genuinely quite a small price to play if you're opening up a load of games that you can actually get on. Then, in that respect, I would just have to recommend it. If, however, you just like using controller anyway, then no, what's the point? But yeah, from me as a keyboard and mouse user, to have the ability now to do this on pretty much any console game I want to, then happy days. Yeah, it's a definite definite recommend from me. But there we are everyone, thank you very much for watching, I will have a link in the description for this below and I must thank GameSir for sending this little thing out, it is kind of cool and I've had a lot of fun testing it, so massive thanks to them, it changed the review in absolutely no way, I was just curious about the product. But there we are, happy days everyone, so thank you to GameSir, thank you to you for watching, I hope you have a wonderful morning, evening, noon, wherever you are in the world. And don't forget to subscribe, it, it helps quite a lot. Farewell everyone, goodbye.